of this may be little word boards, description. I'm going to skip some because you can always read it. But I have put it in front of you so that you know some of the differences between older modern Iran and then older and modern India. So here we go. The oldest reference beside the Jamshid, King Jamshid celebrating Gambar, is Noshirwan Adil in the Shahnama. Noshirwan Adil, who was the uh, emperor 531 to 579 AD, by the way, I just got this one from Ushao Electronic Edition, which came about three days ago. And I am uh, using directly from it. And I want to thank them for doing this at the right time for me also. The illustration of Nashiwan's banquet, as you see here, is the Dimot Shaname in the Cleveland Museum of Art. So the story goes. Nashivan Adil celebrated Gambar feast on Onavad Gatha day. He invited all of them to partake on the naan, which is bread, gosht, which is meat, and naklai meh, which is wine. He sent letters far and wide, invited everybody, poor and rich. He even entertained royally, even given them money and clothes to the poor. Gambar was consecrated in Havanga of Onavadgata. Now Shivan thanked God for enabling him to celebrate Gambar on such a grand scale. But at night he saw a dream. A person with a brilliant face said to him, You did well, Nashirwan, in celebrating such a Gambar. But one man has celebrated a Gambar greater than yours. Do not think much of your Gambar. Mersban of Karsan has celebrated the Mirs of Gambar better than you. I am going to slide 34. Nobody could explain the dream to Nashirwan. He sent messengers all around to find a solution. Some messengers went to the village of Karsan and they did find the dervish named Mersban. They brought him to the king and king says, I am giving you all kinds of gifts if you can just let me purchase the righteousness of your good deed and I will give you 50,000 golden dinars. You know, that is a huge sum at that time. Mersban, the dervish refused. I want to do another righteous act. He says, I don't want your money. The king then offered him 100,000 dinars and still he refused. I will not sell it for the whole country. The king desired to know the particulars of the way in which Mersban celebrated his Gamba. So he found out somebody is really bothering us by some extraneous noises. Please do not put it on mute. Okay, please. So Mersban was so distressed because he didn't have money to celebrate the five Gambas, which is called Panji in a Persian, the Gamba of five days. He sold one of the doors of his house and celebrated the Gambar from its proceeds. Mobedan Mobed then told Noshirwan, the poor man has spent half of his poor resources, whereas the king had spent only one thousand of his whole wealth. The merit of his act was much more than that of the king. It is written from by Dharav J. Patel, in the article on Gamba. Now, why am I putting this article? It is again to demonstrate it doesn't make a difference what you give as long as you give something and celebrate Gamba, which is the most important part of it. Okay, so now I go to this 132 year old book of Kawazi Dinshaji Kiyash, and he has some interesting words for how they saw the Gambar being performed in Yerst and then he compares it with what was going on in Bombay especially and in India in 1882, 100 and almost 32 years ago. So I'm on slide number 36. He says that there is a system that our Irani brethren started and I may not pronouncing this word correctly, it is called Wakaf. 
Now, wakaf is charitable contribution for religious purposes. Now, due to the harassment of Islamic people, Irani Hamdins found a good way to donate whatever they can to religious charities while alive after equally sharing their estate to their Zoroastrian children. Now, interesting part was the mullah has to sign this document and they will sign the document of wakaf in form of land or money or whatever. And since they signed it, it guarantees no one can claim that estate. Many bags and estates and gardens are given as wakaf to Zoroastrian charities and from its income each year public gambars were celebrated in which all poor Zoroastrian and rich one come together and share the food from this gambar. So, the trust is actually decide the date of the gambar and according to the system there, all five days there were gambars. So the all humdins are invited. The arrangement and ritual according to Mr. Kiyash of this gambar are quite good and should be worthy of followed by the Indian humdins. And this is the interesting part in the big letters he writes, in Iran there is no meal served in the gambars but they perform many Avesta prayers in them vis-a-vis of what Bombay Parsis were doing at that time. We do big gambar dinners and meals, very less prayers. They perform this ceremony in the evening starting at 5 p.m. which is an interesting thing. There are two kinds of items placed. In big kumcha they place fresh and dried fruits, flowers, milk, wine, meat dishes, darans, and this is interesting word Shiro Sadab. I may be mispronouncing it, but it is made with a mixture of vinegar, melted sugar and garlic and he comments to get rid of evil by its smell. <laughs> In the second one, all above items plus many naans and omelets and such other foods, all items are placed in big kumcha in a big hall. They light then two, three divas and start the atash in an afraganium. And then all humdins, listen to this, all humdins arrive ahead of time, perform kushti prayers and start their daily prayers. When chief dastur arrives, everybody's humdins are given one flower. And the dastur starts the prayer. When he stands up in the three kardas or so to recite the karda prayer in jashan, all pick up the flower and recite the prayers in unison with the dustur. Interesting. 1882. After doing this one, two times and after prayers are completed, one person takes the Afrganu to all humdins and they in turn fan the atash smoke on them with a prayer. And then after that, listen to this one. Men with men and women with women perform Hamazur greetings, Rohinton, are you listening? With good wishes and love. So the Hamazur is not started now. This has been going on for ages and we forgot to do this and I'm glad we are restarting this in North America. Then he says after this, the one or two Hamdins distribute equally the dried fruits and nuns to all who collect them in a handkerchief and then without saying a word, they just take it home. What a wonderful way he says to celebrate the gambar. He says many gambars are performed this way, so some of the poor people will get enough naan and fruits for two, three, two to four months because many of them had quite hardships for food. And now he says gambars in Mumbai and other places in India are performed in a shabby manner with people stepping on food on the ground. Instead of accruing good deeds, they are committing sins. Hence, they should get rid of such acts and follow the good example of our Irani Hamdins in celebrating Gambars. Interesting way of putting it in 1882. He says our Hamdins expect to do a good deed by just attending a Gambar to partake its food. 
but they should also perform kushti and so on. And then he says some humdins cannot be there because of their job, which is understandable, but it is a bounden duty of all humdins to attend this meritorious celebration. And he says our Irani humdins are such true humdins who in spite of their busy lives, they attend this gambar as their duty. And here is his wish that he wished that many of his friends can join him so that we in India should abolish the gambar jamans or dinners and perform them like our Iranian humdins. Just a thought for you all. Okay, now we come to around 1925 now from 1880 and uh, Sir J.J. Modi in his uh, presentation of these 101 letters have created a very interesting side-by-side -side comparison between what was going on that he watched in years than other places in Iran and what was done in actually in India. I am on slide number 42 and we are going to talk about these differences between Iran and India uh, by J.J. Uh, Modi. The first thing, he was there at the Kadmi Mayoshan Gamba and um, it was actually from Tir Mayno which is our fourth month from Khorshed Roj, 11th day to Dapme Roj, the 15th day. It was the harvest time for the Zoroastrian farmers. They picked the best fruits, vegetables, grains for the Gambar Mears. Greatest faith in Gambar and performed them with faith. Sponsored by different Badins over five days at different places, just like the Mr. Kiyash farm in 1882. The major person who really started the celebration of Gambars in Bombay and other villages is Sir Jamsed Jijijibai. He had a great faith in Gambar. He collected funds over the years to sponsor Gambars, not only in Bombay but in villages like Navsari Surat Baruch. This Gambar was sponsored from these funds and in 1700s, according to J.J. Modi, even in 1700s, other businessmen also used to sponsor gambars. And Behram Pastakya is not here, but Pastakya really means vegetable seller in Gujarati. And they used to have huge farms of uh, banana leaves, which they used to then uh, sell it to the people who are performing gambars and eating it in banana leaves. So, every early morning a Yajashna is performed and then many Mobeds and Badins take part of it and here is interesting thing, there is no dress code. White was the least present even among the Mobeds. Only one Mobed wore the whites whereas in uh, India on the right hand side we all wore whites only. The congregation was taking part in the Yajashne prayers, Yajashne prayers, not just Jashan, Yajashne prayers at specific points. Whereas uh, in India, you are not even allowed to touch either the Jyoti or Atravakshi in Yajashne. And even if you cross the Pavi, the whole Yajashne is nullified. What a difference between the two presentations of that. When the Yajashna is performed in Iran, there was a Pavand, Pavand means the connection, with a Kashti, with Atravakshi of Yajasne and all the people attending in the congregation. And their Daruns were very large. They called this ceremony Iwaj or Baja Yashte Gahambar. After some initial Yajashne prayers, the whole Mijlis leaves and the mob is complete. Dayajashna. According to J.J. Uh, Modi, we had the same kind of a presentation called Gambar Pavi, where people used to in the congregation used to take part. And he said 40, 50 years ago, this was still being done, and some Bedins actually sat on the same carpet that the Mobeds used to sit for the Gambar Jashan. So I am on 46. The announcement of the Gambar in years was done by a whole Anjuman gathering at a place. And Yajashne ceremony in Iran may not find a date palm tree to tie the barsam, as you know. 
but they used to use instead mulberry tree leaf, whereas we use in India, we have enough date palm, so we use the date palm for that. He then mentions that how in Nausari, a gambar was announced to the whole community. He said, in Nausari, there was a custom that the stewards, they say, Mohabets and Anjuman would dress in Jamo and Pichori and go to the place where Gambar cooking was done and reciting some holy prayers would fry the onions, Vagar Nakta. And then the, after frying, the Vagar is placed into wherever that was and then the cooks took over. Interesting way of announcing the start of the Gambar. I am now on 47. This is an interesting one which says in years there was one Mohammed which was called Daftar Khan. Daftar Khan is the reader of a register. The register is the list of all the departed soul of the Anjuman. A very nominal fee is charged to include the name into this Daftar or register. And then one Mohammed will go on reciting this name during the Gambar Jashan. Now this Daftar can have many, many names and the uh, ceremony of Jashan was taking half an hour to three-fourths of an hour and so this Mohabit cannot uh, say all the names so he will go from one day to the next day, Gambar to the next day and finally he finished all of them, all the names in that way, in five days. The register was called in a Persian, Ketab-e-Khuda-an.